Hi, my name is Gudrun from GE Designs. Welcome to my live quilting chat, Tipsy Tuesday. Hi, everybody. Welcome to our Tuesday show. Thank you all for being with me, whether you're on Facebook or YouTube. As you can see, it's big reveal day. So the wonderful quilt behind me is not so much being seen right now. So something to look forward to a little bit deeper into the show. But if you're new here, make sure you tell us in the comments where you're tuning in from, whether you are on Facebook or YouTube. It's always fun to see lots of people joining us. I appreciate that. Um, it's August already. It's kind of sad that summer is like kind of on the down end, but um, hopefully the weather will stay nice and warm for the rest of the month at least here in Minnesota. So I hope you're all having a great, great kind of summer and a great time doing some sewing, using up that time. Uh, on this show, of course, we will be revealing the full details of our August full day sew along. So I hope you're excited. I am so excited. I've been kind of waiting for weeks to reveal this. So, uh, I can't wait. I can't wait. So make sure also if you are watching live, use those thumbs up and hearts. We love that. And that also helps spread the word of our videos and it keeps us in business. So we appreciate that. You can also share the video and I'm sure you're going to want to do that. Share it with your friends once we're all done because this is very, very exciting. Now we, I see that we have people checking in already um, on the screen. Mr. Honey Producer is of course here putting everybody up on the screen. Um, oh, uh, somebody from New York posted that they survived the hurricane. So that is beautiful. I've been thinking about the East Coast and uh, I saw some trees down. Debbie, I hope you guys are okay. I saw something, something about another tree coming down um, in your yard. So I hope you're good. Um, it's great to see everybody. We have Maine, Wisconsin, Washington, Connecticut, California, Washington State, uh, Minnesota, of course. Lots of people joining us. Nebraska, can Canada. So um, thank you all for being here. And we, I'm excited to get into the show. Now, of course, we have a giveaway at the end. So make sure you stay with us the whole time. And um, we will have a question in the end but we also pick a live winner. So two winners every show. So you want to stay tuned and you want to comment because the more you comment, the better chances to win. So uh, last show, last week, I gave you a little sneak peek of a quilt that is going to be in my new book that's coming out this fall once I get her done and uh, a little bit of a reveal. And the question I asked you all was to come up with a name for the quilt. So should we put up the quilt first, just to show them? Those of you, if you missed last week's show, this is the quilt and it is going to be in my new book. And as you can see, the border kind of almost flows into the Oregon woods and uh, just kind of almost looks like it's translucent. But I really love this. I love this quilt. It's really fun to make, much easier than what you think it is. And so, how I picked the winner, this was different. Normally we just do a random draw, but of course I wanted some ideas for a name. So we had a little committee and we had some finalists of names and the name I ended up with actually was serendipity because it's kind of was the working name for this quilt. And so what I did, cause a lot of you uh, guessed the same name or guessed or you know, uh, suggested the same name. So what I did is I took everybody that suggested that particular name and then we drew from that group and the winning name, let's see the winning name first is, this is our winner. Yes. Judy Ott Jewel. And congratulations, Judy, you win a $25 gift card. So the name for the quilt is Octavia. Yes, because 
those the shapes kind of circles create octagons and then i really like the description of the name it's a latin word uh, for you know for the number eight it kind of you see some eights in there and eight of course is an infinity so it's a never ending connected throughout so i liked all everything about that so uh congrats judy you i will get get in touch with you and get you your 25 dollars gift card so uh a few things before we get into the whole quilt along and the reveal so i wanted to talk about a couple of things if you missed me last friday i did a live show with free spirit fabrics on wednesday i was a part of their inspired by series and we did a, about an hour long Facebook Live, which has also been posted now on YouTube. So if you missed it, you can still go watch it. You will find it on the Free Spirit website or on the Free Spirit uh, YouTube channel or Free Spirit Facebook page. So wherever you uh, like to watch your videos, you can watch that. I talked a lot about kind of my techniques. So if you are new to what I do and my rulers and things, it's a great show to kind of get a little snippet of everything. And um, I hope some of you enjoyed what I showed there. I showed uh, the Venus quilt, which is one of my newest patterns, in some fabric that's coming out this fall by Tim Holtz. And I think all of you loved it. I've always loved Tim Holtz fabrics. I got my own little collection uh, of them. I, lo I just love, they're so unique and they're like nothing else. So really cool how it turned out, how my Venus turned out. I can't wait to get it quilted and uh, so I can, really see it in its full glory so that was last wednesday so check it out if you missed that a little bit of news on my scheduled stripology retreats that were scheduled for october we had three sessions completely full ready to go and unfortunately i have made the decision to cancel the retreats for 2020 everything i i've been in touch i've been watching things really closely i've been in touch with um, our health health people in the state and public health officials and of course um, listening and learning about what what is going on and my number one thing is always safety so i want to keep everybody safe and us quilters i cannot personally i cannot teach from six feet away and uh, that would not be the experience that I want for my retreat. The place where we're at would not be able to provide the sufficient space between folks. So I think we're just gonna wait a year. So we're pushing things out. I have emailed everybody that was registered, given them some options. So if you were registered and didn't get my email, make sure you send me an email because I uh, probably ended up in your junk pile or your spam or something. So if you haven't heard from me, Give me a buzz and I will get you all the information. So we have already rescheduled for 2021 and of course uh, filled up some spots, but I will be adding sessions. So hopefully we can open up for even more uh, additions to those two sessions. But um, it's it's bittersweet. I, it's like not, nobody's more disappointed than me because it's something that I look forward to every year. But First and foremost, we need to be safe. So that is why I'd made the decision and it's just good. Now we know and we're moving on. And so don't worry, I'm not going anywhere. I'll still be here every week, twice a week for the most part. So any questions on those two things before we get into our main, main, main topic of the day? Um, sad that retreats are canceled, but a great idea, yep totally agree great to be safe uh, I totally agree on that um, better safe than sorry I, I that's that's always kind of my motto with every anything like that and we quilters need to be safe uh, and we can just stay home and sew and I'll keep you occupied no worries sad about missing retreats yet yeah, sad to have the whole uh, community part of it which was always so great and uh, great decision oh Good, good. I'm, I love that you're you're uh, kind of with me on that. Uh, somebody's asking about my top. So this T-shirt is uh, was a Modern Quilt Guild. I bought that from the Modern Quilt Guild. Uh, it was a social justice uh, inspired shirt. So I loved it. So I had to get it and had to wear it tonight. Very appropriate. Anyways, um, so thanks everybody. I appreciate that. Twenty twenty one will be fun. Yes. 
let's hope i mean 2020 for us quilters it's been challenging but i think we are having more fun than a lot of people so <laughs> just know that um, so Joanne is asking no road to California classes in 2021. No, we made the decision not to go to road to California. You have to decide so far ahead, um, how, if you're going to do something and, and if you're going to vendetta show, you have to make your purchases for the show for so many months ahead and prep for the show. And so I couldn't take that chance if it's going to happen or if it's not going to happen, there's going to be all kinds of limitations. And like I've explained, I am not comfortable teaching six feet away. So um, it's not going to be the same experience for my classes, so I decided to not do it. And um, the way things are going with COVID right now, I think uh, that was a good idea, a good decision. And then, you know what? We're going to get through this. We're going to get through this, and we're going to get back to what we was normal, or maybe a new normal. But we will get back to uh, seeing each other in person. But for now, here I am. Um, so great, great, great. Are we ready to uh, move into our big reveal? Are you ready for this? Uh, somebody said that means more sew alongs, right? Exactly. And that's just what we're going to do right now. We're going to announce our August sew along or quilt along. So this um, will take place. I'm going to just start off with a little video, a little inspirational video to give you the first introduction on what's about to take place in a couple of weeks. So check this out. I hope you enjoyed this little sneak. Well, this is what we're doing. The quilt is called Harmony and there's a complete reason for it. So let me just kind of backtrack and just kind of verbalize what you just saw. So what is Harmony? We all want to be live in a harmonic world, right? Everything we want to do, our lives, you want to live in harmony, right? So Harmony represents multiple voices from different origin and tune joining together in one act, creating a united sound. So to create perfect harmony, one voice cannot be louder than another. Only when all voices as diverse as possible come together and magic happens that we feel in our hearts. So this is what we do when we quilt, right? We make beautiful fabrics of different colors, from different directions. Um, we bring them together stitch by stitch to create a whole that is bigger and more beautiful than its single parts. So how can we uh, not, as quilters, not appreciate the idea of harmony? So fabrics that we may have collected from different parts of the world, different locations, different travels, um, friends, loved ones, something that remind us of something special. We put that together and create a single story. So again, this is magic. Magic happens when those different fabrics work together to create something um, unified and gorgeous. So it's exactly what I hope can happen for all of us in our world right now. Because as we listened, as we listen to all the voices that are speaking right now, we can create perfect harmony in our universe. So let's give us a chance and listen and let's get a chance to work together 
and I know we can make something truly special. So um, my harmony, harmony, the harmony quilt block itself came to me in the wake of George Floyd's murder here in Minneapolis. Uh, this happened just blocks from Mr. Honey Producer grew up. So it's personal, deeply personal. The block is made from true strips wrapping together, which can represent and stand for many things. In essence though, it's about one standing with another, equal and in unison, each one supporting and holding up the other. My quilt is personal. It, re it represents um, Black Lives Matter. I chose light and dark strips for my block on a neutral background. I wanted to emphasize the black and white because us white people are the ones that can eliminate racism. So my blocks show us standing arm in arm with our people of color challenging discrimination. I had my wonderful long armor, Anne Hurlbert from Scandia Quilting. Um, she quilted some words into the border of my quilt. So top and bottom of my quilt say Black Lives Matter and the borders have four words, love, equality, justice, and unity. So as for our quilt, a long day. I want you to take your own journey. This one was mine. This quilt does not have to represent the fight against racism. I made a second version with all the colors of the rainbow to show how I stand with the LGBTQ community and their fight for human rights and equality. You can see that right in the corner. So maybe you want to represent women's rights. Show your support for an organization like the military, the veterans, or maybe you want to unify our health workers in the fight against COVID. Because only if we all come together, we can make some great things happen. For example, wear a mask. We can try and beat this thing. <laughs> that was a little in insert there. So this day, August 16th, is about all of us coming together from all over the world, diverse as can be, and enjoy creating together. There will be music, there will be recipes, special guests, just like what we did with the Hope and Elvira Quilt Alongs. This time we will be live both on YouTube and Facebook at the same time. Are you excited? Are you inspired? I can't wait to see what we can do. So um, let's talk about the quilt. So it's a strip quilt, two and a half inch strips. Work for the strips and then you need a background fabric. So I worked, like I said, I wanted my, my quilt to be neutral colors in the base. So I, love, I picked a taupe background with my black and white strips or they're not really black and white. There's all kinds of charcoal and kind of brown tones uh, and then with all my white strips. And then the one in the corner, the rainbow quilt, I chose uh, a tulip pink yardage for the background. It's the, um, con what is it called? Um, now I'm totally blanking. My brain is going wild. Uh, we have this yardage in, in one yard, it's in the store. Um, oh, why am I blanking on the name of this? Everybody help me, you guys know it. <laughs> You can help me um, say it in the comments. So that's, I, I did that and I use for the strips, I use just a mixture of two different bundles that we've had in the store, um, Stratosphere and Prismachrome, just because they're such really great, great vibrant colors. They have a lot of variety in them. And even the Stratosphere has a, has a little bit of ombre effect. So I really love that. So um, I'm going to show you a little more exactly of the fabrics if you want specifics on what I used, but I want to talk about tools. Fairy dust? Ah, uh, yeah, fairy dust. Tulip pink fairy dust. Thank you very, very much. That was what I was looking for. Um, okay, so let's talk about the tools. So of course, I will be taking you through using any rulers. So regular rulers, but of course, these Stripology XL, or the squared ruler will be, will be great to use. Um, so if you have either one of those, you're good. The ruler stickers are gonna be very, very handy 
as before with Elvira and Hope. So those are handy and we got two color packs. We have the original pack and then we have the, um, the Fruity Fiesta pack. So this one has purple, yellow, and red, and this one has blue, green, and pink. And then, which is totally optional, like I said, I will give you different, different ways to do certain tasks if you don't have the tools. If you do have the point trimmers, the g -Easy point trimmers, I'll show you a way to use those. Um, or if you have any kind of a folded corner ruler, like um, Doug Lico's Simply Folded Corners, that could be handy too. And it, you could use both the, uh, the, orig the original or the small one, the mini. So that will be very handy. Now, as far as the pattern. So the Harmony quilt pattern is on my website. You can purchase it tonight, right now. Uh, it's gonna be $10 like all of my other patterns and it's only a PDF download. However, you will not get the full pattern tonight. We're gonna do the same thing that we did with both Elvira and Hope. We will release cutting instructions so you can get your background cut and all that next week. And then the day before the sew along, we will have the full pattern in your account. So you can then download it and read it through before the big day. So what will you get when you purchase the pattern now and download it? You will get a document that will have the overall photo of the quilt. You will also get the full schedule of the sew along day, of the quilt along day. So with when I'm gonna be live. So I'll go live five times, just like I've done before. And um, the times are listed all in central time. It'll tell you where to find everything. Um, and then it will also have the supply list. So we'll have the quilt. We have four sizes for the quilt, crib size, lap size, twin size, and queen. And it's mainly because the blocks are laid out a certain way. That's why I can't do king or a full, but you can always make a king or a full by just adding maybe a second border or widening your borders. And so uh, the fabric requirements, so I will tell you how many strips you need for each quilt. And then of course, how much background yardage, but you can also use fat eights or fat quarters. So fat eights, it's listed with fat eights. So fat eights is just a half of a fat quarter. So for example, for the lap size, I uh, listed as you need 16 fat eights. So if you wanna use fat quarters, you just need half of that, not a problem. And then also in that little document that you get when you purchase the pattern, you get a little coloring sheet if you wanna play with your own colors and um, do a little coloring to, uh, to pass the time until August 16th. So, questions before I show you these fabrics. Do we have any questions? No questions? Lots of questions. All right, so people will still publish photos of the finished quilt late on August 15th, or early August 16th. So the reason why I don't give the full pattern until the day before, I just I just want everybody to kind of do this together. So we want don't want people to like, finish the whole quilt because as you know if you took part in the both hope and elvira quilt along i give you tips along the way so you're pretty much getting a free class from me so there's tips that you're going to learn and that you're going to that are going to make things easier for you so you do want to wait i understand that you might want to sew ahead but then please refrain from posting your quilt on social media until on the day that we are sewing we appreciate that but you know we understand there are different time zones there's folks in australia that want to participate and so they are um, totally off from our time zones so i understand that you want to sew ahead um, will layer cakes work for the strips in harmony uh no hold on let me think about it no because i think the uh well unless you want to piece them you can cut a layer cake into four two and a half inch strips you might need to piece it to be able to get that um, one long strip. So, um, okay, everybody is excited. I am so excited for that too. Did you tell us how much background fabric we need? It depends on the size that you um, want. So I think we should just dive into showing you what I have for you uh, in the store. 
So I decided to stock up on taupe fabric because I knew a lot of people would want to mimic my quilt. Um, and then we also made a pack for the strips. So if you are low, if you don't have a stash or anything, uh, we made some bundles. So this is a little harmony bundle. So not quite exactly like mine, but very similar. Some of the same fabrics, whatever I could get, that's very similar. So what is in here is uh, 16 different fat eights, so eight different lights, and then eight different darks. So those are the fabrics I use for my strips. And so this is available in the store. We have a lot. The kids have been cutting and folding nonstop and they're still at it. And then as far as yardage for background, so this is the one I use. So this is the spotted taupe. We have a lot of that. And then we have a variety of different taupes in the store. This one just came in today. Um, so a lot of different variations, whether you want more of a warmer tone, more of a cooler tone, maybe you want some sparkles, you can get the metallic, um, the speckled. This is the canvas, this is the dash flow, and this is um, Dotsy, and then we have the wound up. So these are all in the store under the one yard. So for a lap size, so this, the kit for, or the pack for the, the fat eights is enough for the lap size. So the lap size, let me tell you how big that is. So the lap size is 68 by 76. So this will be enough for uh, strips for the lap size. So what you do, you cut your fat eighth into two and a half inch strips. And then for background for the lap size, you need four and a quarter yards. So we sell them by yards, so you would get five yards if you wanted to um, buy from us. But four and a quarter is what you need for lap, two and a quarter for crib, five and three fourths for twin, and seven and a quarter for the queen size. Now, of course, you can add a different color border on yours, do whatever you want. Um, so for the color, colored one, we have the fairy dust, and I forgot to bring it up here, but you can totally see it's tulip pinks. And what I love about the background, it has all these birds and all the different colors of the rainbow in it. And then I use fabrics from Prismachrome and the Stratosphere bundles. We have both of them in stock. So, and I know some of you already gotten some of them probably. So these are already in stock. So I just cut mine from this because I love these fabrics. I, I uh, chopped them all up to keep in my stash. Now another option for if you want strips and not fedes, if you don't want to have to cut strips, we have a few of these Stonehenge strip packs. So these are um, the gradations. So it goes from the lights on, into the grays and into the black. So we have some of those as well in the store. Um, and otherwise, of course, you don't have to do a neutral background. You could do a colored background with black and white strips. You can do whatever you want. Be creative, find your own journey, and think about what you want to do. So I think that's really uh, the greatest thing that we can do. Uh, will jelly rolls work? Yes, of course. Two and a half inch strips. Uh, you can get away with half width strips, so they just need to be 21 inches, and that's what I talk about here. Um, so there's a sorted two and a half by 40 inch strips I talk about in the pattern, but you can work with half width too. So that will not be a problem. Um, all right, let's pop up some more questions here. What size is crib? What size is crib is 44 by 48. So because the blocks are big and because it has um, alternate row stagger, you're limited to the sizes, but you can over that uh, that border around it is uh, four inches, so you can adjust that if you want it bigger, smaller, however you want. Um, yes, jelly roll will work. It's a two and a half inch strips, so as long as you like the colors with it and find a good background that really stands out from your strips, you're good to go. Um, okay, getting lots of ideas, and I and I encourage you to sit with this. You know, go deep. Do, do something different, not something that you are normally doing every day. Um, that's how we make change, by pushing ourselves out of our comfort zones. Um, how many uh, Fat8 bundles would I need for full size? Twin size is you need 22 Fat8s, 
So if you wanted to do a full size, it's kind of in between a twin and a queen. So this twin is 68 inches wide. A full is usually like 73 and the queen is 92. So it would be somewhere in between. So I would probably either add a border onto it or just increase my borders. Uh, you could even do uh, a border of the background and do a scrappy border with the rest of your strips and then do another border of the background, something like that. Play with it if, and get it to a size that you like. Uh, Barbara says laptop need to purchase five yards. Yes, because it's four and a four. You need four and a quarter. I try to get it under four, but it's too tight. So um, I would get five just in case anything anything happens with the cutting. <laughs> Better be safe than sorry. It's always good to have extra fabric. You can just piece it into the backing. Okay, so quilt behind me better. Can you switch to the other camera? Oh, I need to move. All right, I'll move over. Will this work? Can everybody see then? If I get out of the way, you want to pop up the other camera? See if that, okay. So yeah, this is the quilt. I will uh, post some photos, some close-ups so that you can see. Maybe we should show some of the close-ups. Yeah, this one you can't really see much. Okay, maybe um, you want to put the close-ups on the screen so you can kind of see it. So this is from the side. You can kind of see how the quilting words in the side. Um, and then top, you can see Black Lives Matter up top. And then this is the full view of the front. This is the lap size. So it's, it's a larger lap, but if you know me, you know I like larger <laughs> quilts. And here's just a mock-up of doing it a colorful way. You can do a dark background, you can do whatever. Um, just have some fun. I think it'll be, I think it'll be great. So if you're not finding the pattern, it should be under PDF patterns. So if it's not live right now, just hang on for a second. It will be in just a minute. Everybody loves his wagging dog tail in this shot. Oh, the wagging dog tail. You know, he goes, doesn't go far from mama. He's right here. You can hear his collar clinking too. I'm sure. Um, but, um, we have, I have Amy making sure all the products are, are live and available. Um, what tools beside the point trimmers? So the point trimmers are not essential, but I'm going to show you a cool technique. How do you, how you can use them for uh, part of the assembly? I would say the essential ones, if you are a stripology user, you want your XL or squared ruler and the stickers. Uh, if you don't have the stripology rulers, you can use any size, reg any regular size ruler or, um, and if you have a 12 and a half inch square ruler to square up, it's going to be very handy. Uh, if you don't have, if you have the stripology, of course, that's going to be sufficient for everything. Um, okay. Questions. I'm so excited that everybody wants to uh, be a part of this and tell your friends, tell your friends. Um, Pam says, how many jelly rolls will we need? So you only need for the lap size, you only need 23 strips. So normally there's 42 in a jelly roll. So that's plenty, but you need background fabric. Um, love the quilt. Definitely be participating. Yes. Awesome. Um, oh, I love all these ideas you're posting about what you're going to do with it. Um, that's awesome. Oh, you've seen uh, doggy tails. Love it. Do we have any more questions on YouTube? Uh, what's Doug's ruler used for? Do I need it, Sarah? Uh, well, it's more, it's, I always say need and a want. So I'll show you how we can use it. It's for making any kind of folded corners. You know how you have to draw a line and you place those smaller squares on a bigger square you draw the line you sew on the line you clip the corner and you fold it so those folded corners so that's what it's designed for so instead of drawing you can just use it to either cut your corner off and then just sew with your quarter inch seam which i'm going to show you for this particular quilt you can actually use your point trimmers for that as well and then um yeah so it's it's got two different techniques to use for that uh, Pamela says easy for a beginner. Yes, absolutely. And I want to make sure that you join me this coming Tuesday too. So next week will be just like five days out from the, from the reveal. 
And so that's when we'll release the cutting instructions and I'll give you some tips on the cutting um, and preparation, what we need to do for, to prep. Um, Kay says, is there a way for me to buy the pattern for my sister to download? So the best way to do that is just purchase a gift card on our website. You can purchase a $10 gift card and send it to her. And it's just a, just a code that she would use to then purchase, but you want her to do the purchase. So, so that pattern goes into her own account. Um, so that she can keep going back and print it and, and doing whatever uh, when the updates come in. So much more than the cocktail. <laughs> oh, Penny says, did I miss the cocktail? Remember, there's no cocktails on Tuesdays. Tipsy Tuesdays are dry. Tipsy is for all the tips. And then we drink on Fridays. Not saying I don't drink. I only drink on Fridays. <laughs> but um, Somebody asked about if the original Stripology ruler will work. Yes, it will. It's a little too short to square up in the end, but I will show you a way to do it with the Excel. So don't worry. Um, Jeanette says, do you have Doug's ruler in your store? No, I do not, but he does on his website. So it's antler quilt designs. Is it plural? No, antler quilt design, singular.com. Antler quilt design.com. Um, no, and I, like I said, it's a total optional. I just thought if you already have it, I'm going to show you how to use it. If you have the point trimmers, I'll show you, show you how to use those. And then we have an alternate method for somebody that doesn't have anything. So that's all good. Um, Hillary says, is a top achievable in a day? If you do some of the cutting beforehand, yes, depending, I would say possibly most of the blocks for a lap size. Um, not so sure with bigger ones, but you know what? I will tell you throughout the day how many I suggest you work on, how many blocks to work on between my live sessions so that you can kind of keep up and watch. And remember, the videos are just meant to for you to watch and then you can go back and re-watch. So it's really just kind of hanging out in the same space and uh, working together. Not necessarily about finishing. Um, Jane says, how big are the blocks? They're 12 inches finished. Uh, Will you get any more yardage for Naughty and Nice? I believe that they are completely out of that, but I will check. So we had just the background and the border fabric, but I, um, I will contact them and see if they will get any more in. I wasn't aware that we were sold already. <laughs> um, this will be an awesome wedding quilt. I love that idea because of the unison of the locking, locking strips. So. Marcia says, how long is each live session? So they were typically between 30 and 45 minutes. We try to keep them around 30 minutes. So with a demo, and then we have a live guest every time. So 30 to 40 minutes, I would say, but um, nothing too long. Will cocktails recipe be available in advance? You need to shop, yes. So ne next week, we will have um, all the extra all the extras for you. So you get more information on my guests and uh, maybe some snack recipes, uh, something about the playlist and all of that stuff. So that'll be good. Don't worry, I'll, I'll, I'll make sure I get you get it all in time. Um, any other questions, Mr. Honey Producer? Lots of questions. Lots of questions, good, good. Um, what's, what's the size of the XL? Is it 14 by 20? No. So the ruler end to end is 22 inches and bottom to top. It's about 18, a little less than 18 inches. What's the name of the quilt on my left? So the little runner to my left is little Kira. This is a single pattern and it's made with five inch squares. And of course the mini ruler, which is awesome. Um, is a oh, question. Kathleen is asking, is Octavia pattern available? No, not yet. It will be in my book. Um, so you have to wait a few months for that one. It was a little sneak. Um, oh, Linda says unity is needed. Important message. Isn't it? Isn't it true with everything that's going on right now? So exactly. Angela says, will you get any more Tomton festive fun uh, in the one years? No, unfortunately, I tried to get more they were all sold out. Um, Mary says label. I'm working on one. So hopefully I can get it ordered and hopefully be in the store soon after the sew along or the quilt along. So I am already working on it. 
Um, oh, the blog link doesn't work. Yeah, we just updated the blog link, so just hang on. Maybe the blog will not be updated until tomorrow. We do didn't want to put any information out there yet. So um, just ho hang on. It will be all updated. Um, <laughs> is the name of the ruler on the info sheet? Yes. So once you order the pattern and you'll get a link to download it, but of course all you get is the fabric requirements, but you will also get this. Um, so on the bottom of the fabric requirements, I just list the suggested tools. So it's the Stripology XL or the squared ruler and then the, the trimmers and the stickers. So it's all on there if need be, if you want it. Um, Amanda says, I'm going to do a baby size. I want to do the project, but I'm so tired. <laughs> okay, so somebody had asked about the yardage, background yardage for the crib size. It is um, two and a quarter. So I probably purchased three yards. So it is a heavy background type of quilt, but I think uh, that's why the blocks really stand out and they're so striking and visual. So where do you find the pattern for this class? On my website, geequildesigns.com. Just go to PDF patterns or what's new and it'll be right there. Um, there will be a playlist, Cheryl. Yes, there will be a playlist. We're working on it. And so it'll be ready for you on uh, the day before all the fun starts. <clears throat> so Ruth says, can the label be a download, please? Yes, it will be, it'll be both. Um, like the Hope label was both a download and, and also um, we ordered it on fabric. <clears throat> so Pam asks, when you do your label, would you try and do it in a format that we can alter? Like change the size or add personalized info on it. Um, that's tough to do because the stuff, the, the software I work in is not available to everybody. So um, I think you'll just have to add it yourself. If you have a PDF, because um, it will be a PDF, if you have a PDF software, you can usually edit it and add any kind of information and then you can print it to whatever size. So it will be a PDF, but uh, if I leave it in the original format, I don't think anybody would be able to open it unless you had um, the Adobe softwares. Can you use the mini stripology ruler? It's too small. Nope, these are two and a half inch strips. The blocks are 12 inches. The mini only goes to six and a half. So unfortunately not. What size will the background fabric be? Uh, oh no, you need yardage. So Gwen is asking, will two and a half inch strips work for background? No. It will not. You're cutting, you're cutting big units from the background. So um, Chris asked, uh, said, I just ordered the fairy dust cotton candy, speckled metallic, and point trimmers. Ready to go. I love it. Um, Alicia says, any suggestions for storing the XL ruler? Um, yes, uh, we recommend either hanging it from the hang hole or storing it flat. So you can, if you need to store it upright, I would just put it between two, two sturdy pieces of cardboard. If you need to slide it behind a door or something, uh, I wouldn't put it anywhere somebody would step on it. I would, don't lean it up against anything. So either flat or hanging. Um, question, where can I find the HOPE label? So if you go to our blog on the website, there's a HOPE post and that's all the links for the HOPE so along links to the videos, links to the label, um, and all of that. We are out of the printed ones, so the fabric ones we are completely out of, unfortunately. Um, we sold out of that. But you can download the label and print it yourself on fabric. Okay, says it'll be part of your birthday. So, so along. That's great. That's awesome. Um, Taking music requests? <laughs> what do you say about that, Mr. Honey Producer? Of course. Of course. Of course. Send them in. Send them in. You never know. Um, oh, I love all your ideas, Melanie says. My son's best friend is part of LB LGBTQ, LGBTQ, and he and his husband recently adopted a black child. I think this quilt will be gifted to them, given your background for the pattern. Love that. Love that. And think about that, too. So... Um, you know, think about pushing the boundaries, make something that's personal and take your own journey, but then think about, okay, um, we give our quilts all the time. I do too. 
So think about maybe gifting it to somebody that you might not necessarily always think about giving a quilt to. Maybe it's somebody that's a part of your everyday life, mailman, store clerk, somebody that has been essential in this time, which is very unique for us all. Uh, or maybe you just want to build a bridge or you want to reach a handout and just tell somebody in not so many words that you're there and you, you stand with them and whatever you want to support. So um, just think about that. Get those noggins going. I love, I love that all of your noggins are going about that. Um, Anne says, would you consider a Lil version? Of course I consider Lil's for everything I do. You might have to uh, wait till it's so long to get some more info on that. Um, Pamela says, when you do your lab, oh, we already get that, that one, okay. <laughs> Can you post a grocery list for the snacks, please? Yes, next week, you'll have five days before. So you got plenty of time. Um, glad we are sewing together, more inspiring. Yes, that's awesome. Um, that's awesome. <laughs> okay, do we have any YouTube commenters? Commenters or questions? All right, everybody says they're so ready. Oh, that's awesome. Um, can I use the Creative Grids folded corner ruler? Yes, you can. Absolutely. Any kind of a folded corner um, ruler tool you have, you can use for sure. Um, Sharon says, love you and honey producer, always a joy to watch you. Oh, thank you. Thank you for patting him a little bit, patting him on the back. He did a lot of this work. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> okay. Any more questions? If not, I have one more new bundle to show you guys that just came in. That's really pretty. Something is, I mean, you could use it for this, of course, but it's really pretty just on its own for whatever else. And everything else I showed you, that's, I'm gonna clear this table for this next one. So this is a new fabric company, newer fabric company that, um, yeah, there you go. There it is. So this fabric company is called Poppy Cotton and you may have seen our, their basics in our store. Their basics are um, the confetti dots. And so they coordinate with all their lines, which is really nice. So I just love this color combination, these really nice soft pinks with that, that kind of tealy green. And then on a black, really sharp background. So it has these beautiful greens. I love this main print. Just really dainty, pretty florals, some great basics. And I love that the colors within the line have a variation of shade. I don't like it when all the greens are the same shade. So this is a really fun print. It says, let your heart be full, homemade friendship, count your blessings, choose joy, let your love shine. It's really kind of perfect for this time. So then we have the pinks. Gorgeous little hues in pink and this rose color. And I love this little print. It's kind of a play on a polka dot. So this is Cherished Moments is the name of this line. And it's by Poppy Cotton. Cherished Moments. So we have these bundles in the store. And all cut and pretty, pretty folded up for you. Kids have been working overtime. And there's more stuff coming <laughs> all the time. Lots of fun stuff coming. So we have to um, get our live winner. Do you have that ready, sir? Almost. Almost. That's, that's close enough, I guess. So live winner, we have a $25 gift card from that we are putting, pulling a random commenter from either Facebook or YouTube. He uses a random generator so we never know where it's coming from uh, so this time it is let's see Jen Beatty Jen yay Jen has been with me on a couple of tours so 
Congrats, Jen. You know how to contact me and get your $25 gift card. So this is going to be it for us tonight. I've been so anxious leading up to the show because I've been so excited to share and to really hear a feedback on uh, what I chose to do. So we have a giveaway question. So the giveaway question, this was a fun one because we had a discussion about this. So I want to ask you, have you ever sang harmony? That's my giveaway question. So you have to answer this question in the comments to be entered in the giveaway and we will pick a winner randomly and announce it next week. And if you have, win. win where? And so we want to hear when you sang harmony. Were you in a choir? Was it in church? Was it in school? Is it in the shower? Harmony in the shower with who? Harmony in the shower. Oh, you want to know with who? <laughs> he wants to know with who. <laughs> who did you harmonize with in the shower? Do you harmonize with your dog? Possibly. Vibration off the wall. Vibration off the wall. That's true. So we practice a little harmony, but we're not going to perform. We haven't gotten it fully down, but we will practice before August 16th and possibly do a little harmony. Although I am not a singer, I will not be singing for all of you, but maybe a little hum, <laughs> right? He's a better singer than I am, way better. Absolutely so, not. can't carry a tune. Yes, that's he can. People, that's what people are saying. Oh, absolutely not. Nobody's ever sang harmony. I'm sure there's some singers out there. Yeah, church, school. Church, school, yeah, good. Well. If you can't sing harmony, we can all create harmony together. And I can't wait. I cannot wait. And I'm excited for all the quilts that are going to happen, the harmony of us doing it all together, and maybe possibly some little bit of changes in our world that will be for the better because quilters are the best. Love it. That's it for us tonight. I want to send extra special thanks for you to being with me and with us here tonight. And I will be live this coming Friday for Facebook Friday, three o'clock, three o'clock central time. And then next week is August 11th and we will be live at 7 p.m. Central time again. So thanks everybody for being with us. I'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.